Greetings, everyone. Greetings, friends and viewers. Pastor David here. Do all dogs go to heaven? What about cats? What about birds? What about fish? What about our pets? What will become of our pets during the rapture? Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not me. Here I am. Do all dogs go to heaven? What happens to our pets during the rapture? Will we be reunited with our pets once again in heaven? So many people today think of their pets as parts of their family. A lot of people that do not have children consider their pets as their children. What happens to our pets when they die? So much talk today of the rapture and current events taking place in the world, lining up perfectly with end time Bible prophecy. Um, today, on this video, I'm going to attempt to answer the question of the ages. What happens to our pets during the rapture? And will we be reunited with our pets in heaven? And to do that, we're going to have to go to the source, to the word, to the scripture. What does the word of God tell us? Now, when Jesus returns in the clouds, he'll be riding upon a white horse and all his followers will be riding white horses dressed in fine white linen. In the book of Revelation, we hear of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Let's continue on. So, I cannot picture our Heavenly Father Yahweh in heaven without heaven being filled with animals. He created us. He created all living creatures. And I just can't picture animals not being a part of heaven and a part of the rapture let's get into the word of god what does scripture tell us in regards to animals let's go to um let's begin with the book of uh, ecclesiastics chapter 3 verse 18 through 21 as for humans god tests them so that they may see that they are like the animals surely the fate of human beings is like that of the animals the same fate awaits them both as one dies, so does the other. All have the same breath. Humans have no advantage over animals. Everything is meaningless. All go to the same place. All come from dust, and to dust all return. Who knows if the human spirit rises upward, and if the spirit of the animal goes down into the earth. Let's continue on in scripture. Let's go to the book of Job, uh, chapter 12, verse 10. In his hand is the life of every creature and the breath literally of all mankind Genesis 9 9 and 10 I now establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you and with every living creature that was with you the birds the livestock and all the wild animals all those that came out of the ark with you every living creature on earth and we're going to continue on with scripture but dear friends, I want to um, I want you to understand that when John the Baptist baptized Jesus, the Holy Spirit ascended from heaven in the form of a dove. And we're going to talk about the rapture for a moment and what will become of our um, beloved pets. Will we have to go to the atheists who we know will be here? They'll be left behind. Uh, to go through and face the seven-year tribulation? Or will our, our pets be raptured with us? What happened in the days of Noah and the great flood? What did God command Noah do? Take two of every kind of animal and take them onto the ark. Take them out of, take them away, I'm sorry, rapture them from the great flood, the great destruction that was about to fall upon the earth. Let's go back. Let's go back into the Word of God and see what the Scripture tells us. Because, dear friends, we are getting very close. Very close now, I believe, to the rapture. Speaking of Noah and the ark, um, let me take you to Genesis chapter 9, verse 9 and 10. I now establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you and with every living creature that was with you, the birds, the livestock, and all the wild animals, all those that came out of the ark with you. Every living creature, 
on earth. Now, if I may, let's get back into the word. Let's go to the book of Genesis, um, chapter 9, verse 16. Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures of every kind on the earth. Now, the book of Genesis, uh, chapter 6, verse 19 through 22. You are to bring into the ark two of all living creatures, male and female, to keep them alive with you. Two of every kind of bird, of every kind of animal, and every kind of creature that moves along the ground will come to you to be kept alive. You are to take every kind of food that is to be eaten and store it away as food for you and for them. Noah did everything just as God commanded him. Let's carry on. Let's not stop here. Let's try to explore this in a, in a good, uh, great detail. And maybe, just maybe, I can come up with the uh, answer to the question of all time. Genesis chapter 1 verse 30 And to all the beasts of the earth and all the birds in the sky and all the creatures that move along the ground everything that has breath of life in it I give every green plant for food. The book of Hosea chapter 2 verse 18 In that day I will make a covenant for them with the beasts of the field, the birds in the sky, and the creatures that move along the ground, bow and sword and battle will abolish from the land, so that all may lay down in safety. The book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 6. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten by God. There's so much talk about, let's talk about animals in heaven. Um, Isaiah uh, chapter 11 verse 6 through 9 the wolf will live with the lamb the leopard will lie down with the goat the calf and the lion and the yearling together and a little child will lead them the cow will feed with the bear their young will lie down together and the lion will eat straw like the ox the infant will play near the cobra's den the young child will put his hand into the viper's nest they will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain. For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Here is the word of God declaring that animals will still exist in the future after Christ's reigns begin. Let me take you now to the book of Revelation, chapter 19, 11 through 14. I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse, whose rider is called Faithful and True. With justice he judges and wages war. His eyes are like blazing fire, and on his head are many crowns. He has a name written on him that no one knows but he himself. He is dressed in a robe dipped in blood, and his name is the Word of God. The armies of heaven were following him, riding on white horses and dressed in fine linen, white and clean. Dear friends, I cannot uh, even comprehend our Heavenly Father Yahweh and heaven not being filled with all His creation, all the creatures of the world, all the animals. I do believe that our pets will be raptured with us. Um, we will see our loved ones and along with our loved ones, family members, we'll even see this cute little guy. I think, dear friends, all dogs, all cats, all birds, all horses, all pets do go to heaven. I hope this has helped in these, the end time. Leave me comments. God bless you, and I love you.